Hello everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me this morning for coffee and the Word. That time each day that we examine a small portion of God's Word and then we try to apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab that cup and let's get started. Our devotion today comes from Ephesians 4.32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ Jesus forgave you. Our Heavenly Father is kind to us. And since He's so kind to us, can't we be a little kinder to ourselves? Oh, but you don't know me, Max. You don't know my faults and my thoughts. You don't know the gripes. I grumble and the complaints I mumble. No, I don't, but God does. He knows everything about you. He doesn't hold back his kindness towards you. Has he, knowing all your secrets, retracted one promise or reclaimed one gift? No, he's kind to you. You don't be kind to yourself? Then why not be kind to yourself? He forgives your faults. Why don't you do the same? He believes in you enough to call you his ambassador, his follower, even his child. Why not take his cue and believe in yourself? In his book, You Are a Good Thing. Be kind to yourself. God thinks you're worth his kindness, and he's a good judge of character. God is characterized by kindness. Could we learn to extend ourselves that same kindness? Could we replace that mental monologue with his promises? When the world is unkind and you struggle to be kind to yourself, remember this. When God our Savior revealed his kindness and love, he saved us, not because of the righteous things that we had done, but because of his mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth and a new life through the Holy Spirit. Titus chapter 3, verses 4 and 5. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.